So the police are here and they want to talk to me about something. We'll see what it is. Hey, Bobby. Yeah, hi. Sorry, what were your names? Anita. Anita. Oh, okay. And Glenn. So you're a detective or? And you're both detectives. Could I have your full names? Anita Nezavatowski, Glenn Pritchard. Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. All right. Is there a reason why you're recording me today? Yes, for my protection. You think I'm going to assault you or something? No. Um, so I don't understand why you're here. And I haven't even spoken to you, and you think I'm going to do something to you? Well, we have seen a lot of police violence in recent times towards the public, and okay. there is a growing there is a growing mistrust, I, I, as you can understand. Okay. Um, we don't you, have to worry about that. Yeah. Not here to do anything like that. Okay? All right. So cool. We're here to have a chat to you because we have instructions that um, you've been posting some things on social media um, that you. Protest, protest on Tuesday. Um, there's no protest on Tuesday. Okay. There isn't. Okay, that's fine. But what I'm here is to remind you to ensure that you need to stay at home in relation to COVID and um, stay at home orders. And if there is or is not a protest on Tuesday, regardless, you still can't leave and go to a protest of any sort. Does I understand. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, anything like that. I understand what you're saying. I want to know the grounds for why um, this is the case. Why? Has the New South Wales government declared, officially declared a state of emergency? That's one. And isn't it um, everyone's constitutional right to protest if there is a protest? Um, I mean, the police commissioner for Victoria has gone on record to say it is not unlawful to protest. It is a human right to protest. That is correct. You are allowed to go and protest, but at the moment we have stay-at-home orders, okay? And that means that we are not allowed to leave and go without the five kilometres. We're not allowed to leave essential services, stuff like okay. that. Okay. have a valid reason Yeah. For leaving your home and attending to get food or something like that within your 5K sure. radius where you have to wear a mask, et cetera, et cetera. You can go and do that. But you cannot go and attend a protest, whether it is in the city, Parramatta, I don't know where, or what is going on, but you can't go and do that what? right now because at the moment we have stay-at-home orders. What are the legal grounds for the stay-at-home orders? That's something that you can have a Google and place no. it everywhere that you like. You're the police. I'm telling you that you need to stay at home. You need if you to. you leave and you don't abide by those rules, you will be either given an infringement notice or you will be arrested. You will. That's the case. You okay. are charged with enforcing you law. Much. You are in charge with enforcing law. You need to know. You need to know the laws under which you are enforcing these orders, and these are. They are unconstitutional. They're inconsistent with the Biosecurity Act. A public order has to be served with a court order to an individual, not to collective masses, not to the entire public. You are acting unlawfully. That's what you need to know. You are acting unlawfully. They didn't even want to engage in a dialogue about the legality of this situation. They, did, they ran away. <laughs> they ran away. When I asked them what the legal grounds for the enforcement of these public health orders, they ran away. They ran away. <laughs> I hope everyone can see what is going on. <laughs> they ran away. When I raised the legal grounds and how all of this is invalid, they ran away. Everyone has to wake up. Please.